How about another round for Bruise Day Tuesday? Here is Drez and Huck. Congratulations. Sometimes Thank it's a you. struggle. It's a struggle. Wow. <laughs> Round two of Bruise Day Tuesday, Thanksgiving edition, as it is not only Drez with you and Huck per usual, but we also have the lovely Whitney joining us in studio because Huck just Huck doesn't have enough hands to bring beer and food. I know. Yeah. So the food's in, in the equation. I'm not res- brings that in. I'm not responsible enough to carry food. No, no he is true. not. I'm and not. I have waitress experience. I did notice that you brought, you did yes. literally yes. brought the food in. Yeah, she you, carries you all my food the, for me. You only carried I the I brought cooler. it from the car and into the studio. I was like, I don't trust these boys with this. Yeah. Um, I got I this. was like, here, I'll handle, yeah, I'll dangerous. hold the he- headphones. I'll carry the headphones. <laughs> yeah. Huck carries the beer. You carry the food. And I have all, a special cooler for the beer that can take a banging, you know, and mm-hmm. keep on ranging. Nice, nice. Well, yeah. we, are, uh, we are moving on to our dessert, I guess, portion of the show. This is, I think this one... You know, last last round, uh, the the beers I think went pretty good with the food because yeah, you know they just kind of, to me at least, the one that I had was kind of bland. It didn't really take away from the food. Pairing wise, it was eh. But I think this one is going to pair very well with this dessert, as you handed me, Southern Tears Cinnamon Roll Imperial mm. Ale. And if we all we all know what Imperial means, eight point six ABV. And it's cinnamon roll. This has got to be delicious. It's got to be. I'm very excited for this beer. What do you you got over there, Huck? When when you go next. Ooh, well, I have one of my favorites that I actually haven't had this particular beer, but it's Samuel Smith, or yeah, Smith's Organic Oatmeal, or sorry, Organic Chocolate Stout. Take two. (laughs) (laughs) What is it? What's the uh, the alcohol on that? I have the Samuel Smith's Organic Chocolate Stout. What's the alcohol content? Do you know? I'm looking. I can't. Find All right, it. take a minute. So I, because you asked that, I'm guessing your alcohol content is the most. Yeah, I'm gonna important. win. I'm gonna win. Yeah, you're gonna I always win this love battle. to win. It's a huck session. There's no doubt. Yeah. So I, I was I like, mean, they probably all are. Wandering around the store saying, I want to get a barley wine, but you know, I have a fondness for barley wines. So I'm walking through the store like, I've had that. I've had that. I've had that. And she goes, What are you looking for? I said, A barley wine. She goes, Here's something. It's a Firestone Walker, 2017 Hell Dorado. And it's a blonde barley wine ale. First time I ever had that. Looks, a blonde barley wine. Looks like wine. almost every other barley wine. Mm-hmm. Maybe not quite as dark. But it's lighter. 12.8% by volume. Well, it is a blonde, so yeah. a little lighter. Mine is only, I found, 5%. Oh. Yeah. Which you I'm fine baby. with because I'm actually driving. I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say, Huck, I think you brought you must have brought Whitney to drive. <laughs> I did. Well, my, my eye's still healing. Takes a while. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't know if y'all have delved into it because obviously – with this round, we're doing dessert, more dessert type stuff, clearly. And um, with the uh, the meal that we got from Num Nums, it did come with apple or pumpkin pie, of course. They were kind enough to hook us up with both. So we each got a slice of both of them. I just took a bite of the apple, which I'm usually not a big fan of apple pie, man, but that cinnamon with this cinnamon roll oh, bet. is oh, I bet. money I'm going to save money. a bite. Yeah, definitely. Definitely don't eat all of your pumpkin. I'll let you all get a taste of the cinnamon roll after the after this, and you all will be very happy. So, um. So if someone was wanting to go to Nom Noms, where would they go? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, I'm glad. Me, uh, You're glad. Let me pull up this little uh, jam here. I mean, I know it's right there on Main Street. Yep. 1202 South Main Street. They got like that black sign there. But this is the other thing that's cool, man, because if you don't know about Nom Noms, they're, they're obviously they're, they're fairly new, and they're all about local. All about local, made from scratch stuff. Locally owned, locally operated, locally sourced. Uh, the breads. The sides, sauces, desserts, all made from scratch. They say they use uh, boar's head meats and cheeses, which is locally owned and distributed. Uh, fresh produce, local and organic as possible. Farmer's market specials, they do all of it. They do catering. I know you were just saying, I guess she catered just last week, I guess, uh, like a sorority, 200, 200 people. Yeah, meal or she something. can handle that. So they can, if they can do that, man, they can do she's all She's a machine. It. I mean, she's going to work Thanksgiving Day for people. Holiday sake. hams, turkeys, and dinners, man. So definitely hit up Num Num's. Um, and I think, I could be wrong, but I think we might even have a, uh, a sweet deal for Num Nums coming up here on the website in a little bit, too. I think so, you do. So definitely uh, keep an eye out for that. But, man, this food is amazing. I'm thoroughly impressed. And I, I saved some of the, um, the sweet potato casserole for this segment, too. But I guess I'm, I might not even get to it because this pie is really banging. Yeah, so we have apple pie and pumpkin pie. Or do we? Oh, that's right. Did you know that pumpkin pie in America is generally not pumpkin? Shocking news. Really? What Shocking news. Well, shock me, shock me, shock me, <laughs> Huck. The government, the government says that squash is pumpkin. 
that apparently squash tastes better than pumpkin. So if you get pumpkin pie filling, mm. it's really squash pie filling. But they don't have to say that because the hey, government says. Well, I mean, squash. squash. So not like, uh, at first I was picturing like sweet potatoes, yams. No, like one of those big curly the necks. Cur- the curved jam. Yeah, the They're curved. the same pumpkin family. Exactly, and the government says there's no difference. Okay. So apparently something like 99% of all pumpkin pie filling is. I like, squash. I like the look is that Whitney yams. just gave me. She just gave me this look like. He is making all of this crap up I'm right now. It's, <laughs> it's a on, look only a daughter can give about a, their father. It's on the internet, so it must be true. It must be true. It must be true. There's no doubt in anyone's mind. I've had a couple of people that told me this story. I didn't invent this story. It could be not true, but I didn't actually see it on the internet. Oh, so, guys, I meant to tell you earlier, I had an idea for, like, a Thanksgiving prank that I've been seeing. Oh, what? Oh, oh yeah, nice. A Thanksgiving prank? Yeah, it has to do with a turkey. Mm. And putting like a little baby, like a quail <laughs> oh, or something no. inside. And then you're like, so I think it would work great on my niece who's about to be five and say, so it looks like it's a pregnant turkey. It's going to scar her for life. Yeah. That, um, but that brings up turducken. Closer. Turducken. You put a, a turkey, no, a duck and a. You put a tur- duck. turkey, so a chicken and a duck a and a turkey. Yeah, yeah. yeah chicken and, and a it's the and a easiest duck. thing to make of all time. Just shove them all <laughs> right in the hole. With a turkey duck and, and cook it. Yeah, make sure you cook it long enough. All right. Um, have y'all tried your beers enough to, uh, to yeah. untap these yet? I don't know. I mean, the pair. I mean, pairing wise, this is amazing over here. I don't know oh, about yeah, y'all. This is, too. this is freaking. And the both pies are made. I'm not a big pie guy, but uh, these are pretty good. Oh this yeah, pumpkin pie is exactly. Per- it's on point. It. Perfect S- pumpkin pie. Should we call it squash pie? Perfect that, squash pie. Feel Perfect. Better, Huck? <laughs> well, she might have made it with pumpkins. She's a perfectionist. Yeah, I would say it's local. I mean, yeah. she probably actually got the local. Uh, yeah, she probably didn't use pu- the number 10 can of pumpkin pie filling I'd have used. But an apple pie is delicious. I have to say that this Which chocolate stout is um, a d- dessert all on its own. Right. It kind of can stand alone without anything. Same with this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's why we that's why we're doing it this way. Yeah. So next year, you know, this is this is a work in progress. It's only the second time we've done this. Next year we should do taster glasses so we can do all the beers with all the foods. Ooh. See now you're thinking. I'm why didn't you thinking think of this out of the box? Twenty minutes ago. I thought of it two it. hours ago, but I was running so late I didn't have time to grab a bunch of taster glasses. Well, I feel like we should... I'll take the hit on that. Christmas last year you gave me a taster set. If you had phoned mm-hmm. me right then, I could have ran home and gotten it. <sighs> and well, I got a cabinet full of them oh yeah we could also do more meals i mean this is going pretty well we could do like I, a christmas i do feel like i remember <laughs> i feel like i remember saying that exact thing <laughs> this time last year easter we, easter we never did it though fourth of july <laughs> picnic it is fried chicken good. and deviled eggs we could just make just i'm not know, even, I didn't even i'm not even hungry for that now after all this meal. <laughs> <laughs> that was the yeah. other thing man i mean the, st- the stuffing was probably the best and i am stuffed dude that that was great stuffing it had mushrooms in it that's unusual it is unusual yeah. and i'm and a lot of people don't like mushrooms but I I'm love fine with it. I mean, mushrooms. you can pick them out they're big enough to pick out yeah yeah it's all good the uh, although I noticed I kept going, I'm, maybe it's yeah. just the fat ass in me. But I was like, y'all were like, we'll see the room was drink the beer. I'm like, nom, 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 well, nom, you know, nom, 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 I'm, st- <laughs> I'm still on the low carb diet. Not that this was that, but I cheated enough. <laughs> yeah, so I'm stopped. Fair enough. Good for I you. I just man. wanted been, to save a little for tomorrow. Uh, it's been almost all year. You've been still yeah. to that diet. Good yeah, on you. I'm still below 200 pounds. Mm. I mean, mm. what's uh, mm. what's Thanksgiving without the leftovers, though? That's so true. I didn't want to just you're right. Yeah, yeah, right. Put that in the fridge. I'll have that later. tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow there for leftovers. Go. Well, sp- all right. Well, let's let's right, go ahead and untap out. these bad boys. And okay, then- so you know, you were all making fun of me last time. I was like, I'm gonna give this a five because it's Thanksgiving. Well, I'm gonna give this a five because it's a five. <laughs> yeah. This is such a five. Oh my god! Firestone Walker is a great brewery. They've got make a lot of great beers, and unfortunately, they're a long way from us. What I was about to say, what else is there any? Or have we had them on the show? Yeah, before? we have. What's, what what other beers well, they've have got, we done? They got a bunch of IPAs, and you know, I think they have a red ale, some stuff like that. Okay, and we've had a couple of them over the years. They only have like five that we get normally out here on the East Coast. They're on the West Coast, mm-hmm. so they need to build a factory over here, like Stone and all the other guys. You know, come on, come on down, y'all build a factory over here. You can build it in my yard. I don't care. <laughs> I have well, there to agree you go. with Huck here because <laughs> I might have given the last one a five for I was thankful and it was Thanksgiving, but <laughs> these Sammy Smiths, man, with the mm. chocolate, I love chocolate stouts. I just 
just keep keep them coming, keep them coming. You know, I won't share this one with you guys. <laughs> yes, you That's are. all right. I'll keep mine too. <laughs> well, I, I, all right, we're playing that. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to share them this yeah, session. If y'all don't want to, okay, have okay. It, I, mean, I want to try it all of them. Let's be honest. I mean, this is. I mean, no, there's no beat that's on the bus. never. I don't think this that's. Is, <laughs> this is a five over here too. There's no question. That's the first on the show. A f- all fives around? Well, no, that we all not want to share our beers after we were supposed to. Oh no, well, we I'll learned. Well, I was only saying that because y'all were being. I'll share. It. Of course, <laughs> I will. Oh, we but now this cinnamon roll, man, this is fantastic. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this beer. Well, Southern Tier. Southern Tier. I was about yeah, to say. One of my favorite one breweries. One of, yeah. Southern Tier cinnamon roll imperial. It's got the high ABV. It's got that sweetness, amazingness. Uh, it's got everything right with it, and of course, when you're pairing it with some delicious, mm-hmm. you know, pies, mm-hmm. this is heavenly over here. So thank you guys for bringing this stuff in, and of course, once again, thank thanks, you, thanks to Num Noms, thank man, you, and Num-noms. definitely, uh, definitely check them out. Once again, they're at 1202 South Main Street. They're doing uh, basically, you can pre-order your Thanksgiving meal. Once again, eight uh, six eight four six 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 one uh, mynumnums dot com. And uh, you can get yourself either just a plate if you're by your lonesome, yeah. or you can just get food for everybody. And Actually, you can share good. the plate with or everybody she if you want. Said, true. You know, if you're working that day and you really want a meal, she'll deliver it right to you at and, work. And so. I know it almost it almost sounds like we've turned this into the, a commercial for Num Nums, but let me just say right now, we are not getting paid or anything to, to talk this up. This is just, she was kind enough to make us this food because we were going to do this show. And, and this we heard food, about it and knew it was going to be good. Banging. Food so is you ask for, banging. Ask for Jen and tell them Dresden Huck sent you. Definitely. There you go. Uh, so that's a wrap on the show for Thanksgiving. I have no idea what we're doing next week. I'm pretty sure you won't be here, right, Whitney? This isn't going to be a regular thing. Let's just bring food. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll be we back for Christmas. We only let you in if you, if you cater in. Man, we Easter. could probably bring it for a Christmas episode. Um, yeah, we could yeah. do Christmas dinner. A Christmas dinner. Figgy pudding. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. I made a the figgy beer, pudding beer, beer one year. or the food? I made the beer one year. We are getting into that time uh, time of year, but we are also, also always open to suggestions. So if you want to reach out about a beer that you've had or a brewery that you know that you think that we should probably uh, check out on the show, drez at 1053thebear.com is my email, and huck, huxbeerbuzz at gmail. That's right. All right. And, of course, huxbeerbuzz on all the social media and the website and whatnot. And, of course, we did... Uh, I, I did just hear the beep, so I guess, the, did we run out of camera on this Yeah, one? we're just picturing from here on out. All right, well, hell, we're if you want to see the other done. video of the actual food and the feast and, and all that, and, and Whitney's lovely face, you can check out the ah. YouTube channel uh, for that one. Huck and Whitney, I appreciate y'all coming in. Fabulous, fabulous. Hope you have an actual fantastic, true Thanksgiving on Thursday. And you as well. I appreciate that. We'll take a quick break. We'll get back to the tunes right here on 105.3 The Bear. Stick around.